What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamacy here, and if you want to learn how to track your runs and track your grails, well, you have come to the right spot. I'm going to show you two pieces of technology that I like to use that can just be fun for various pieces of your magic finding. Now, the first one is one that many people have seen. This is the Diablo 2 Holy Grail application, right? What this does is this will automatically hook up uh, and let you know whenever a new item drops and it will keep track of all of the stuff. Here you can see it's also keeping track of ethereal or regular, right? So if you go into your settings, you can set it. Include runes, include rune words, play new sound when item is found, softcore and hardcore, only softcore, only hardcore. You set where the save file is, and then you give it all these things, um, etc. Right? Nice and simple. Uh, and then you can also click in on an item, and it'll tell you which characters have the items as well. So you know where to go and find the cat's eye, where to go and find your Nagel rings, all of these pieces. Right? So just a nice way to track all of the stuff that you have. Very simple. So how do we get this going? How do we get up and running? Well, you go to this GitHub link right here, uh, Zedicus PL Detour Holy Grail. I will post the link down below and, um, and pull it out. And it's really as simple as that. If you go, I can open my file location, right? That's just right there in my programs start menu, I guess. Um, but you can just have it YouTube works? I think Twitch just died, you guys. I think Twitch just had a had a death. Cause my YouTube stream stayed up the whole time. Alright, anyways. We will uh, I guess continue. Oh, nice. He actually has the Holy Grail link right here. Didn't even realize it. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll just start here and, and combine it together. So anyways, you can scroll down. You can go to holygrail.link as well if you would like. That's the GitHub. This is just the straight up Windows 64 bit installer right here. Um, here is my favorite streamer. Okay, Nadine wins, whatever. Uh, it is an open source app, um, so you can look and see all that. And here they are. Here he is using it. Obviously, uh, you can watch me using it in my Grails. Here's the change log of all the stuff that's happened. And then down at the bottom, there is a little bit of information for how it all functions. Again, pretty much as I showed you right there, you're going to set your save games folder if it doesn't automatically find it. Um, this is just going to be users. That saved games, Diablo 2 Resurrected, unless you save somewhere else for some reason. Um, you'll select what you want, and then you just play from there. Again, whenever you play, it will go through and it'll make a dong noise, bong, anytime that a new item uh, appears. Now, one thing to note is this will occur only when your save game file gets updated. So Diablo 2 Resurrected, it's not just going to be constantly saving and constantly updating this. So instead, this is going to wait for that. So whenever you save and exit the game, whenever you identify an item, whenever you die, whenever you make a trade, whenever you, there's like specific actions in the game that will update that save file. Whenever that occurs, that is when you will hear that dong uh, right there. And this tracker is items that you have. So remember, if you find an item and then drop that item and don't have it anymore, 
it will no longer be within your found grail, right? That's going to be one of the, the pieces there. Now, if you do want something that is like that, there's also this where I can give you this link. And this is going to be a manual tracker that you can use that you can also share online. So here with this manual tracker, you can see, oh, how many unique armors and other and sets and everything I find. It shows all of those and you just go through and you can click, oh yeah, I found gray form. I found dark glow, you know, let's save those, right? Like you just go in and you click through all of the ones, save it. You can also do it for the ethereal grail. You can also uh, do it for the rune words if you would like. So this is just kind of a online way that you can track all of it as this holy grail app right here is running just local on your pc and currently doesn't have um just like a way that people can easily see that so that is uh just you know up to you right how do you how do you wish to to do it how do you wish to track it again i like this app a lot for it just automatically trapping um but this is nice for letting people know so that is going to be for the Holy Grail apps. Now, another app that I recently was using that people were enjoying was the uh, counter. So this is the MF Run counter right here. So you can come and download this. Um, I will post this link as well. And so this will just be MF Timer. And, uh, oops, sorry, MF Timer 1. What? Okay. Um, <laughs> weird. So here is the MF run counter. Uh, I believe all and uh, there, yeah. Okay, so you can you can learn all kind of the hotkeys. Um, start a new run, end the run, delete the previous run, pause, add all this stuff. But essentially, this is a timer um, that has a session time, and then this will have a time for, for instance, let me x out here, and you know, start this. You can see it has started the timer for this run and I can see how long for each run this I was doing a 500 Mephisto runs so it was giving me a countdown showing me the time on every single run the fastest time the average time all of those pieces um, you can always click in here to add an item so whenever you're on a specific run I could say like storm shield got added and then no I don't want to add it to my grail and perfect, so now it has Storm Shield on run 517, right? Um, and you can, you can manually have it track all of the stuff there if you would like. Uh, but this is just a nice and easy MF run counter. So again, you can see how many LK runs, how many Mephisto and Dariel cows, whatever runs have I done, what's the average time on all of them, what is all of the pieces that are going with it, right? Um, so... Let me, uh, oh, that'll reset the lap. Interesting. So that is uh, another piece for there. And again, I will post that link down here. There will be a little bit more information about how to get it running, um, any of the features, if there's advanced, simple. So, oh, that's what I wanted to show you. So to get it running, you're going to go to the profile and then you're going, or uh, the auto mode, excuse me, you go to options, auto mode and select simple. And this is where you'll put your saved games path right here. You can browse and find it, or it may just automatically find it. Um, and this is going to be the one that will read your Diablo 2 resurrected file and then run off of that set. The advanced mode, I believe is only for Diablo 2 LOD. Um, so we, I don't believe can use it. If you can find a way to get it working, let me know, I suppose in the comments below, but 
Otherwise, you just set it to the simple mode. That's so it'll be able to just read the files there um, of when you're joining in with the character and saving and popping off. Uh, and then you can just have this go and it'll just run. So this is stuff um, that you can use in single player, totally fine. Uh, I don't believe you'll be able to use any of this with multiplayer because you're not going to be able to read the save files and you can't read memory in multiplayer. That's a no, no. You could do get banned for anything that would read memory probably. Um, and then in single player, I don't even think you can anyways. So, uh, yeah, so this is just for single player grayling MF runs, all of that stuff. Um, things that you can keep track of. Other than that, you can look around, you know, again, you can change your hotkeys if you want. Um, you can, you know, <coughs> set it to always be on tops, have them be global or versus non, change the theme, you know, all of your general stuff. There is also a built-in grail uh, right here. So again, like I talked about, let's say it is the storm shield. And you add it, and then you do, let's say, Mang Song's lesson. It'll say, do you want to add it to your grail? And you can say yes. And now it adds it to the local grail right here. And this would also be something that you could upload, <coughs> excuse me, to this Hero Ku app right here. Um, you can take this and upload it to that. So... Another one that's a little bit more of a manual process because you'd be going in and saying, I found an item on this run and then adding it to the grail from that. But that is nice that you can upload it there and sync to that. So that is just a cool additional like grail tracking feature. So anyways, those are the two uh, apps that I, I like to have running kind of when I'm doing stuff, especially if I'm doing like a run counting, you know, 500 runs of this, 1,000 runs of this. Um, it can be nice and it can be good to see, you know, what's your average time? How long is it taking you to do each of the runs that you're doing? Just all of those pieces. So with that, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below, but this should be pretty self-explanatory. The stuff runs pretty easily. You just like run the EXE and then you're good to go. Uh, you know, you, you run the MF, MF timer, you run the Holy Grail at EXE, and then you just kind of have a little setup like I talked about and they should be good to go and run with everything. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe YouTube. Peace.